Hello to my Fireside Creator family. Today I'm preparing a shrimp boil. I've already posted a crab boil on my channel and if you're new and you haven't watched that video, it's worth watching. During the crab boil, I prepared a homemade dipping sauce. And on this video, I'm preparing rice with vegetables to go along with the shrimp. Let's get started. On the side of the screen is a list of ingredients that I'll be using to prepare this shrimp boil. For my seasonings, I have cayenne pepper, crab boil, black pepper, paprika, lemon pepper, onion powder, creole seasoning, and accent. First things first, I'm going to start off by cutting up my red potatoes. Normally, I cut my red potatoes in half, but in this case, I'm cutting them a little bit differently. Normally, when I create a seafood boil, the potatoes along with the seafood are always the first items to disappear. So since I'm cutting up my potatoes smaller, whoever tries to go and get these red potatoes out of the boil, they're going to have to search for them, okay? So now I've finished cutting up my red potatoes in chunks, I'm going to remove them, place them in some water, and start cutting up my next vegetable. Next, I have celery. I'm going to cut off both ends of my celery and then cut them up into bite-sized chunks. To add some heat to this boil, I'm cutting up these jalapenos so I can add them in with the rest of the ingredients. These lemons will add flavor to your boil. You see here, I'm cutting these lemons in half. Depending on the size of your boil will determine how many lemons you need. I have two onions that I'm going to add into my boil. There's no particular way that you have to cut these onions. Just cut them up into chunks and just add them in with the rest of the ingredients. If you don't eat beef or pork, chop up some turkey sausage to add into the boil. And if you're not too fond of the turkey sausage, you can always add some smoked wings or some smoked turkey necks. Lastly, we are going to devein the shrimp. Now, before you get started, you wanna clean your shrimp with some cold water and some lemons. Toss them around the lemons for maybe once or two minutes and go ahead and rinse them off at least once or twice. And now we're headed on to deveining these shrimp. Now these shrimps still have the shells on them. So I'm gonna show you how I devein these shrimp while the shells are still on them. Here is what the vein looks like once it's removed from the shrimp. When you're deveining shrimp, you want to use a fork and poke a hole on the side of the shrimp. And with your fork, you want to slowly remove the vein. You know that brown little section on the back of the shrimp that nobody wants to consume? And once the vein is visible, pull the remaining portion out with your fingers. Then you're going to repeat these same steps with the remaining shrimp. In a large pot, we're going to add in our seasonings. First, we're going to add cayenne pepper, Creole seasoning, onion powder, paprika, lemon pepper, black pepper, accent, 
and crab boil. I'm adding in my lemons, onions, jalapenos, celery, And I'm gonna mix in these ingredients and let them cook for about five to 10 minutes. Next, I'm adding in my red potatoes. I have a quite a bit of potatoes because I cut them into small chunks. Now I'm adding in my turkey sausage and my eggs. And I'm gonna let this food boil for about 20 minutes. Now that my pot has started boiling, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in my shrimp. And I have a fairly large amount of shrimp. As you can see, I have a lot of shrimp. And I'm trying to make it work by mixing the shrimp in with the rest of the ingredients to make sure that all my shrimp is cooked evenly. Our bowl is finished and now I'm going to plate my food, pull up a chair and get ready to eat. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Bye. Here's a closer look at the shrimp boil and everything looks amazing.